All right, welcome back to another episode of Spirit Word Gaming. Right now we're doing Night Team 4. Um, it's a hacking simulator, so right now we are in uh, Chapter 2 of Operation Dark Sentinel. And we'll go ahead and start the mission. The house rental company you found looks promising. Kruger Services is involved with four other locations and may very well help us uncover Dr. Ripper's true identity. For this assignment, we'll need you to push further into advanced X key score investigation. I'll patch you into all German civilian and government databases we have access to. Use these to cross-reference Kruger Services assets and start building a comprehensive visual map of the situation. Your mission objectives are cross-reference German open source and government databases with Kruger Services assets, identify entities that are connected with Kruger Services houses, Infiltrate at least two networks and execute a full analysis. Explore any external links or other third parties that may be involved. Man. Seems pretty easy, right? Find connecting thread between the rent homes. Infiltrate at least two suspected networks. Identify the, their internal system. Explore any external third party that may link to. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to dig deeper. As Wheeler explained, we've unlocked multiple country-level databases. Police reports, emergency room admissions, tax registries, cab transports, airline activities. There's a lot to work with here, but fingers crossed we can link something back to one of the houses. We limited the scope for the last couple of months, but there's still a lot of data to sift through. If I were you, I'd start by looking for any traveling chatter in the area, and if you get anything from that. Okay. That, that too. All right, so uh, what do we got? Well, we got this. I'm gonna reset that. Damn, cares a lot. Jan and Martin traveling chat, traveling chatter. Look for information that would reveal a domain name we could hack. If that works, simply rinse and repeat that for the other houses, and we can start building a database of networks. Domain. Surfacing. Yeah, okay, so we got Nullbyte. Got yeah, here. Nullbyte offices. Okay. I don't know why they close the whole thing out. Uh, tax receipt. Shot games. Okay. Um, Sophie and Jan. Insure that. Sure, that that was Jan. There's a lot to cross, and you only get like you only do three entities at a time. Uh, 
let's actually add the cab transport. There we go. Okay. Novelty publishing. Got a lot here. No white offices. Okay. After midnight? I don't know the difference between these. I mean, these two, that was custom made, but. Chopped up. Second. Identify their internal system. Oh, okay. So. We got a, a DNS. Gathering module initiated. All right, S fuzzer. S fuzzer. Uh, hook shot games. Dot com. T thirty. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work because it's hoot shot. I can spell. Wow. That's fuzzer. Hookshotgames.com. T. Try 30. Do 30 again. Fingerprint shop dot book shot games dot com. Information gathering module. Yeah, by the initiated. way, you can actually use um any command and any it doesn't have to be like like it, it just opened this up, but I ran it in here. So that's pretty cool. Vulnerable, okay, cool. I guess running it 15 would have worked actually. Just out of curiosity, let's let's run. Let's, let's stick with shop. You know that that's web web traffic right there, and it's vulnerable. Which is weird. Okay. So we'll do um. Search exploit. CRM four. That was a tab complete, by the way, which is nice. Okay, UDP, soap request. Cool, got it. Buffer overflow. All right. So here we're going to do... We're going to do the fox acid and do UDP, soap request, after midnight... Shop shot games. Yep, and already knows eight vulnerabilities. Launched. Fox acid attack successful. Connection completed. Okay. All right, so I'm on their VPN. So.
to uh, novelty publishing. Two, one, okay. Draft email template. Three. Uh, monthly. I wonder if I put in like do not click this if they would if they would actually not click it like in the game not open it. Monthly sales report. Shop. Uh, whoop. Um. Shop at. Oops. See, I fucking up arrow. Shop at hookshotgames.com. That's even worse. I'm fucking hacking them from their own, from another their VPN. Oh, okay. Thing looks good. Not using a lot of CPU. It's good. Game's not really that intensive. Running at 60 FPS. Technically, it's not true. The game's running at 28. Okay. All right. Completed. That was cool. That's quick. All right. Via my scanner. So inside a server, yeah. So basically, we got inside the shop, Bookshot Games, which was a VPN connection. So we did hack the network, but we did. We didn't get into like their server or anything. It was just um, the VPN. Like we would need to do to get into like an admin server, which is what we did here. So um, dig is when I dig into ERP finances. You always want to get a finance. I feel like finance is where it's at. Found on Kruger. Go ahead and try to scan another company. Okay. So we're connected here. How many nodes are there? I want a fingerprint. Mm, I do. Scan. Work intrusion module Init Good thinking. Yeah, you see the HTTP request that keeps recurring about every 10 seconds? Again, from the same ERP. Maybe try a fingerprint on the IP address. 19. Dot... All right. See, they tell you, maybe try a fingerprint on the IP address, 19.16.177.159. Keep alive is a connection. Like a web server oh, or something. There. Yeah, like see? Like Stinger OS detected a known botnet signature. Oh. oh. Okay. 
All right. Hmm. All right. We can get out of that one there. completed Don't tell me anything. I'm just on the VPN. Yeah, I'm on their network. I do this one already. Same ERP as the last one. That's a hell of a coincidence. Okay. So strange. This must be the common point. All these ERPs got compromised. Let me get Wheeler, see how she wants to proceed. Hold tight. Oh, and uh, good work. <laughs> huh. Okay. That was kind of that one kind of threw me for a doozy because you had to edit, you know, you added in the hack two different networks and like, you know, I was on the VPN while I was hacking another network, which I mean, obviously you want to do that because you want to hide your 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 trace, you know, your um your location. Normally you'd use like proxy servers or something like that, but um I'm not a hacker, so I wouldn't know. I don't claim to be one either. So okay well let's let's go back so yeah this is gonna be homeland first chapter three and uh i'll go ahead and just stop the video just that was 17 minutes so it's not bad but all right we'll go ahead and stop that one we'll call that like you know episode four or something figure it out all right well thanks for watching again and uh we'll see you next episode